don't go outside that much. Ergo, I don't see people that much. Ergo, I don't get recognized in public that much. Now you might think, James, really? You get recognized? But you're just some college dropout sitting in the closet right now making cartoons on the internet. People recognize you and, and talk to you and ask for your autograph? Yeah, I thought the same thing. I don't even show my face that much in my videos, so I don't know how people remembered what I looked like. When I first started drawing comics four years ago, I was never expecting that later people would be coming up to me and nervously asking me to write my name down on a piece of paper. Now, can I just talk about this? I don't have a signature, and if I'm going to be signing things, I really should start thinking about getting one. I signed 6,000 cards, and on all of them I just wrote James and put a little smiley face. I probably wrote my name out more times that week than I did my entire life. Also, another thing, I have terrible handwriting. You'd think since I'm good at drawing cartoon characters, I should be good at drawing letters of the alphabet. Whenever I sign something, I always have to warn my fans, I'm really sorry, I have bad handwriting. And they always say the same thing, it's fine. No, it's not fine. I'm about to ruin whatever this pen touches. I don't get recognized nearly as many times as you might think. Like, I can go to the grocery store and not get recognized at all. Although, I am noticing that I get weird looks from kids now. I don't know if that's because of YouTube, though. But if you do see me out in the wild, then by all means, come up to me and say hi. Even if you're not sure it's me, still come up and ask. Even if I'm on my phone, just slap it out of my hand and I'll say, Dude, what the heck? And then you say, The odd one's out. And I'll say, <laughs> Maybe. I'm a pretty chill guy, okay? The only time I can think of it not being okay to come up and talk to me is if I'm asleep. Don't wake me up, guys. One time I was at the dollar store, not a proud moment in my life, and later I went home and someone on Twitter asked, Hey, were you just at the dollar store at this address? And I said, Maybe. Another time I was at Chipotle, and I know in a previous video I said, Hashtag boycott Chipotle because they didn't hire James like three years ago. But I'm a weak man. I might have to call off the boycott. So anyway, I'm standing in line to get a burrito, and I see a girl sitting down in the chairs looking at her phone, and she sort of looked like a girl that I went to high school with. Is that... Is that Rachel? I didn't say anything though. I got my food and as I was about to leave, I glanced back at the girl and she was looking at me. We both had that look in our eye like, yeah, we know each other. So I went over to her and I said, hi Rachel, are you James from The Odd Ones Out? <laughs> you didn't go to high school with her. Okay, well I'm gonna go now. Good luck on your own. Y y yeah, yeah, I am. What's your name? Maria? My name's James. You already knew that. If you're watching, Maria, when I saw you, I thought we went to high school together. You looked like someone who was on my improv team. So I recently went to Pack South with my friend Eugene. That's not his real name. I asked him if he was okay with me saying his real name in this video. He said he was fine with it, but I think calling him Eugene would be funnier. If you don't know what Pax is, it's basically Comic-Con, but only for games. They have card games and board games but it's mostly video games. I've known Eugene for about a year now, but I've only ever talked to him over the internet. One day he asked, hey, do you want to go to PAX South with me? It's in my hometown. And I said, sure, because I think that's what friends do. I'm going to leave out a lot of details about what I did at PAX because I think that can be a video all by itself, but just traveling there, I was recognized. I got on the airplane to go to Texas and this girl and her mom sat next to me and I noticed that the girl's iPad wallpaper is Markiplier and Jacksepticeye. Part of me wanted to say, oh, so you watch you? YouTube videos? <laughs> do you know me? But that's a tacky thing to say. I thought if she knew me, she'll say something. Don't start off conversations like that. We went the whole flight without saying anything to each other, and then when we landed, mom said to me, hey, my daughter thinks you make YouTube videos. <laughs> Maybe. On Friday, Eugene had to go to classes before PAX, so I went with him just so I could go straight to the convention. One of his classes was in a computer lab. I sat down next to Eugene's friend, and the computer was already logged on, so I was worried that I might be stealing someone else's spot. Then some other guy walks into class, and he looks at me and goes, Whoa. And I said, Oh, is this your spot? You're the odd ones out. Maybe. I didn't know him, but he knew me. Which is weird to think about. Of all the places you'd expect to meet a YouTuber, your computer lab wouldn't be one of them. I started messing around on Microsoft Paint. I wasn't paying attention to the teacher. I drew a landscape with a horse. It was beautiful. And then I drew my cartoon character with a mouse. Also, side note, this is why you don't draw with a mouse, kids. And Eugene's friend saw it and said, Hey, that looks like a YouTuber my brother watches. And I said, Huh. Weird. And then I went to PAX, I got recognized a lot there. I almost got kicked out because of all the people who recognized me were causing a fire hazard. After PAX was over, I went to the airport to go home, I got recognized by another kid who didn't even go to PAX, and also apparently another person recognized me and took this stalkerish photo and tweeted it to me. 
You, you could have said, hey, I was just playing on my DS. I wasn't doing anything important. And then while I was making this video, I got recognized again at Target. Not including VidCon packs in the junior high that I tutor at sometimes. Those were all the times that I got recognized. That I remember. At PAX, there was this boy who came up to me and said, You at the bed until you were eight years old. He was bringing up a joke in the peeing video where I said, If we ever meet each other in real life, you're not allowed to bring it up. But the kid was saying it obviously as a joke. I knew he was messing around with me, so I laughed and I pushed him away, like, Eh, ah, get out of here, you knucklehead. But then later I was thinking, I probably pushed that kid a little too hard. I hope I didn't make a bad first impression. So, if I pushed you at PAX, I was doing it in a loving manner. In conclusion, if you see me out in public, don't be afraid to come up to me and say, Hey James, you left your house. Good job. I'm a pretty normal person.